Hey folks, Jason here. Welcome to Timber Falls, home for CNC creators like you. In today's video, we're looking at an awesome new feature coming to all three versions of CarveCo. CarveCo AI. We were really lucky when we got selected to beta test this AI feature. Everything I'm showing you is in beta version. So this is subject to change upon release. The release date for CarveCo AI is September 1st. So on the 1st of September, this is going to come out. When we open up our CarveCo, you're going to see a new tab called Generate with AI. This is going to give us two new features, Text to Relief and Image to Relief. These tools are working on a credit system, and this credit system is going to be tied to your new CarveCo account. We don't have any information on the credit system or the cost of the credits yet. That information is still to be released. And we're just using the beta version for now, so some of this is subject to change. The first tool we're going to look at is the Text to Relief tool. When we click our Text to Relief tool, we get this new dialog box, and it has a place to put a text up here, and we also get a couple of examples down at the bottom. Now, each one of these examples, you can click on the picture, and it will put in that prompt to generate that picture in the text tool generator. Then all we have to do is click our generate image, which costs one credit. Now, just like any other AI, the amount of description that you put in your text will greatly affect the results. So you can experiment with some of the different words that you can use in creating these images. Now once we have an image that we like, all we have to do is select that particular image and it's going to show up over here in our relief generation window. Now all we have to do is click our generate relief button. Every relief generation costs five credits. Once we have our relief model over here in the right hand window, we can move this around and you can see it's produced a pretty good relief model. I mean just from the one click button it's pretty amazing how well it is. Now we have three different sliders over here on the left hand side that's going to affect what our relief looks like. The first slider we have is a depth slider and this basically moves the model or depth of the model in and out and this is the overall height of the model. So if I turn this over to the side you can see that we're we're adjusting the overall depth of our model. Right now, we're not worried about size. We're basically just creating a design. We'll worry about size in it later, and I can show you that in a few minutes. Our next slider down is our detail slider. The detail slider either increases or goes to neutral. It makes a very smooth relief, or if you pull it down in this direction, it actually brings the details in the negative. If I zoom in here, kind of turn this to the side, you can see that we're pulling that into the negative, and then as we get to the middle, it's more smooth, and then as we push further this way, we actually are raising the detail. So depending on which way you want your details to pop out, you can either have them recess those details, or you can push the details out. And if we zoom out, we can see that we've got a pretty good model that we can either push to maximum detail, or find a nice range or middle ground in between detail and smoothness. The last slider that we have is our zero plane. And what this is really cool is, is that this is going to start to remove everything in the background, going from the background up. So as I start to move this slider, basically it takes away the background. And you can see, let me turn this back to the side. You can see that it starts to remove the background and takes away everything that was in that background. And this can help us really create a nice, clean looking relief. And so as we take that background away, you can see that it has sharpened up our relief model quite a bit. And that's a really great looking relief model for just having created this from a text. Now we have two options here. We can save it to our clip art library and I would recommend doing this every time is to save it to your clip art library. Now it's going to open up this new folder called AI generated and we'll call this one Pharaoh. I press save and that's going to save it to our clip art library and bring this relief 
leaf model in as a new piece of clip art. If I hit open in new model, this is going to take us directly into a project page. And then we can change this to inches and resize this. Let's just make it six inches for now. Press OK. And now we have a six by six project with our relief in the middle. I can go right back to creating AI images with this new tab, Generate with AI. I'm not going to save this project, but let's go right back into the text tool. One thing is every time I open up this text tool, there will be a new set of examples to use. Now, one of the other really cool uses for this is to make textures. For this example, I'm just going to use this brick wall texture. And if I generate an image, it's going to create a nice brick wall image. Now, all I have to do is select one of these and generate a relief from that. And this is going to create a nice brick texture. We could quickly save this to our clip art library and call it brick background. And now we have that saved in. Super powerful tool for making textures. The other really great tool we got with Carveco AI is the image to relief tool. The image to relief tool, basically you bring in any image and it's going to generate a relief based on that image. Now that I've imported an image, I'm just going to hit the generate relief button. Some of you guys may have recognized this image from my ChatGPT tutorial. So we can just compare what that looks like coming from ChatGPT to Carveco AI. And you can see it's created our skull and roses. And we can quickly get rid of some of the zero plane around the skull and roses to clean that up. We can change our depths and our detail. We can make that more detail. This actually looks better with a little more detail. Now, another thing you guys can do is if you create these models, and let's just bring this at, let's make this six inches again. If you want to get rid of something in your model that you don't like you can always draw a circle around that so let's say I want to get rid of these leaves and I'm not doing a very good job of drawing a very smooth line but we just come back around here connect this let's say we want to get rid of this we can go up here to our zero inside of vector and click that and get rid of that this is a simple way to remove things from your relief let's look at another example the better looking these images are the better looking your relief model is going to be. This is an image that I got from a laser engraving group. With a click of a button, we've quickly generated our 3D relief model. This tool is going to be game changing. Next week's video, we're going to go over how to make better prompts for the text to relief tool. We also have a video coming out to show you the best way to create images for the image to relief tool. So if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Hit the notification icon so you're notified when those drop. Leave me a comment down below with your questions and we'll try and answer them as best as possible. Thanks folks, let's keep making bit happen and I'll see you on the next one.